here with the fitness mission and today we're doing a class called plank attack it's going to be 12 planks done for 40 seconds each with a 20 second break and all of the planks will be different I will offer the modifications of being able to use it on your knees or up into full plank but it's going to be fun it's going to get you that nice sculpted core that everybody wants so all you need is a mat and if you have one just a little ball like your kids ball or a dog's ball or anything like that and if you don't have one it's only for one exercise and um, I can show you modification if you don't have a ball on hand but with that being said we will um, go ahead and get started I'm gonna explain what the next plank will be in your 20 second break between each one but I'll go ahead and show you the first one before we get started before I hit that timer So we're going to be going up into plank right here and we're going to be scooping our leg out and around. Coming up, scooping out and around. And then halfway through, we're going to switch the leg. Scoop and around, just like that. If you need the knee modification, you're coming right out here, going on your knees and sending it straight out. All right, I'm about to hit the timer. We're going to be going for 40 seconds. Then we'll get the 20 second break and I'll explain the next exercise. Let's get started. Got 10 seconds to relax in between the exercises. You can go into cat cow, um, child's pose. But let's go ahead and get ready and pop it up and begin. So scooping that leg around, send it out. Scoop it around, send it out. Keep that core tight. Your neck should be in line with your spine and your head looking down towards the floor. Scoop it around, send it out. Scoop it around, send it out. Good, now other leg. Scoop it around, send it out. Keep that back flat. No butts up, no butts down. Scoop it around, send it out. 10 more seconds. A little under that. Keep breathing. Nice job, all right. Go ahead and relax. I'm gonna show you our next one. It's an overlapping arm oblique. So your arms are gonna be like this, right here. We're gonna come up and twist, set it down, up and twist the other way and set it down. Got two seconds and begin. So right up here, up and twist, down. Keep that core tight. Look up towards the hand, flip. Look up towards the hand, flip. Again, this can be done on your knees. Right here, as that modification. Up and twist, down. Move my ball. Nice job, 20 second break. All right, this one is a leg kick through. So what we're doing is we're going to, I'm actually gonna do this one sideways. You're gonna kick it through and step it out into a plank. Kick it through, step it out into a plank. And we're gonna keep alternating sides. Get ready and begin. So step, kick it through, step it out into center. Step, kick it through, step it out into center, flat back. Kick it through, step it out into center. Kick it through, step it out into center. Step, kick through, step it out into center plank. Step it out, kick through. Try to use those pointed toes. And again, you can do knees. You can always be on your knees. You go right here, step it up. That is always an option through this whole workout. And relax, nice job. Again, you can go into cat-cow, shake out the wrists. Our next one is going to be a heel tap. So what we're doing, we're coming right up here, long plank side, and we're gonna tap the heel. We're gonna go the full 40 seconds and then switch for the second set. And begin. So long lines, heel tap it. Come in, tap that heel. Long lines. Squeeze through the obliques, down and tap. Right there. 
reach and tap that heel. If you can get the toe, you can make it even more challenging. Toe. Reach, long lines. Reach. You can feel the pressure on the other arm too. It's an oblique for those arms and the core. Keep going. Squeeze. Squeeze. Nice job, you got 20 seconds. We're doing the exact same thing on the other side. So you're coming out, your leg is pointed, you've got those long lines. We're coming in, tapping, and then kicking it right back out. Got about five seconds to relax. Get ready to take it up. Right here, tap. Long lines, tap. Tap. Again, if you wanna make it a little more challenging, Reach all the way to the toe, but every single time, extend that hand out and squeeze. Squeeze. That nice, beautiful side plank right here. Keep breathing. Nice job, and relax. All right, our next one, we're going into a reverse plank into full plank. So you're coming out right here, reverse plank, popping it out, full plank. You can also do step outs instead. Get ready, let's do this. Reverse plank, bring it together, pop it out, full plank, pop it in. Remember, you can step in rather than pop. Up, flip it, pop it out. Out, lift it, halfway there. Lift, with that reverse plank into our full plank. Point those toes, get it high, pop it in, pop it out. Last one, and that's where we cut off, nice job. All right, the next one, we're going in and out with the feet, but we're gonna keep the elbows just like this to take a little pressure off our wrists since we are doing so many planks. So all you're gonna be doing is going out and in with that flat back. Get ready and begin. Keep breathing, try to keep that body tight. If you wanna just do this on your knees, that's a fine option. Other side, you just won't be able to do the tap outs. You could always tap out your hands. Nice job, and relax. All right, our next one is a side plank with a reach through. All right, so what we're doing is we're going up and reaching it through. Up, reaching it through. Now you can make this a little bit more challenging by popping it all the way up. Go ahead and begin. Reach through, bring it up. Reach through, bring it up. Reach through, bring it up. Doing good. Hang in there. Reach, lift, hang in there. Remember, you can switch to your knees if you need to. You can be right here, right on those knees. All right, switch it up to that other side. Same thing, we're reaching it through, lifting high. And about 10 seconds to relax. You've got this. And begin. Reach it through, lift it high. Twist, lift it high. Like I said, you can make this easier by going onto your knees, or you can make it more challenging by pressing up onto the hand.
Hang in there. Nice job, and relax it. All right, our next one, we're gonna go into down dog. Tap our foot, walk back out. So you're in your plank, you're walking it up, down dog, tap, walk it back out. Walk up, down dog, tap, walk it back out. Get ready and begin. Walk it up, tap, walk it back out. Walk it up, tap, walk it back out. Now this one's too challenging. Take it and just hold it down, dog. Excellent exercise. Take a chance to focus on your breathing and work into the walk. Keep that core tight. Keep the neck in line with the spine. Flat backs. Nice job, and relax. All right, so our next one, we're taking the ball right here, and we're going to be moving it around our mat and chasing it, like this. So, wherever it goes, you're just going after it, but what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna get your butt up, you don't wanna get your butt down. So we're just moving that ball, chase it, Give it a big push. Oh, go get it. Keep that back flat. I know this one's fun. This one's fun to do with the kids too, or the pets. Right here, make yourself move. Make yourself move. Oh, that was a big move. Oops, I had to drop. All right, try not to drop down unless you're doing it on your knees. Go get it. You got this. Hang in there. Try to turn it, turn it, turn it. Nice job. All right, you can set that ball down. We only have two more. All right, so we're on our elbow. Actually, I'm sorry, we only have one more. I'm almost teaching you. Right here, we're on our elbows and we're twist dipping down. And again, this can be done on your knees as well. Get ready, last 40 seconds. Give me all you got. We got this. Dipping it down. Hang in there. Halfway. We're almost done. All right, we have done it. Blank attack is finished. Let's go ahead and give it a quick little stretch. You can go ahead, press it up here, taking a deep breath in and pressing it into the floor, your abs into the floor, exhale it out. Press it into the floor, exhale it out. If you want to, you can bring it all the way up, depending on your flexibility, and just stretch it through. Lowering it down, press it up into all four, inhale up, exhale reverse. You need a couple of those cat cows, inhale up, exhale reverse. One more, inhale up, exhale reverse. All right, you guys did awesome, and if you really want a challenge, rewind it, play it all again. All right, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If we can get a thousand subscribers, which I know sounds crazy, but if we can get a thousand, then money coming in from ads can go right back to Active for Good. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out my promo video. We want you to join our team on activeforgood.com, the fitness mission, so that we can save lives and get people physically fit. Thanks and have a great day.